If you have attended any conference in the past year, you'll notice like every vendor booth is filled with AI powered products. And one of the most common questions I have received is, hey, Tyler, will AI replace pen testers. Hey, real quick. One of the best ways you can support me is by enrolling in one of my courses. I have everything from a beginner level introduction to hacking methodology to a course for red teamers and pen testers doing phishing and social engineering engagements. All of my content comes from my day-to-day -day work as a pen tester and red teamer in the field. And I also offer a lifetime refund guarantee. If you enroll my course now, and let's say three years from now, you realize it wasn't worth it, send me a message. I will refund whatever you paid for the content. That's how much I believe that these courses will help you in your career. They're all incredibly affordable. Links are in the description. Enjoy the rest of this video. We're actually having that conversation right now during the live stream. You might notice there's some chat right over here. It is because these people are in the live studio audience. I make almost all my videos during the live stream. If you've never attended a live stream, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you can be part of the live studio audience. But let me answer that question, at least from my perspective. Will AI replace pen testers? My answer is no, you don't need to start freaking out yet, but maybe with a few caveats and a few reasons for behind that. Reason number one that AI will not replace pen testers is due to client requirements. Now, here's the difference between someone who does pen testing for their job and someone who just watches YouTube videos. I'm actually a pen tester. I work with clients every single day. I am a practitioner who also happens to teach. And as a pen tester, you will know that one of the main things to talk about with clients is where their data is being stored. Clients are rightly concerned about how their data is being used or processed by a third party during a penetration test or a red team engagement. So when it comes to talking to a client, many clients are not comfortable with you taking their data and just feeding it to ChatGPT or Gemini or Claude in order to have those AI agents help better pen test their environment. Now you can still ask ChatGPT, you can still use GPT, but you wanna make sure you're not passing it sensitive client information. Now for AI to replace a pen tester, well, the AI would clearly need access to that sensitive client information. Now there are cases, so for example, you may be able to spin up a local LLM model for your organization and use that for pen testing, and then you're not breaching any client contract when it comes to their data, but let's be honest. If you have ever hosted an AI locally, which I have, it is possible, but the AI isn't that great. It is very much underpowered unless you have state-of-the-art servers and GPUs and everything running that. So reason number one that I do not think AI will replace pen testers is purely comes down to client requirements and how their data is being handled. Reason number two that I don't think AI is going to replace pen testers is because AI itself is vulnerable. Now, of course, human beings are vulnerable as well, but I attended a really cool bug bounty panel when I was at DEF CON all about AI hacking and going a lot more in depth than just prompt injection. But even as part of my day-to-day -day job as a pen tester, I do AI and LLM pen testing. Matter of fact, I plan on creating a course in 2026 called Hacking the Robots, and I will walk you through how to do AI and LLM pen testing. But suffice it to say, all of those AI models and LLM models have vulnerabilities that can be exploited by attackers. Now imagine a situation where a pen testing org is using an AI agent in order to hack into an organization. If that AI agent is then compromised in whatever way, and then an attacker is able to steal sensitive data out of that AI agent, well, now you have a data breach on your hands due to AI being exploited. Now it's not that much different from the way other software can be exploited, but the fact that AI has that agent feature to it can lead to a lot more damage. Point number three, and this is where I think AI will eventually be able to do this, but right now I think AI is really good at finding low hanging bugs, but an area that AI fails is understanding the full context of the application. So considering a web application for just a moment, one of the most damaging classes of bugs is a business logic flaw. 
Now, a business logic flaw isn't like cross-site scripting. It's not a vulnerability in the code per se, but a business logic flaw is rather using an intended feature of the application, but using it from the perspective of an attacker. One example that I've seen of this in real web apps pretty often is when the web app enables you to send emails. Well, when you enable me to send an email, what I've noticed is I can send an email, I can capture that request with Burp Suite or Kaido, and I can update the subject, I can update who it's sent to, I can update the HTML of the email, and then I can send very realistic phishing emails with malicious landing pages from a legit domain to bypass spam filters, and I can use that in order to do social engineering campaigns. Not a vulnerability because sending emails was a functionality of the web app, but a business logic flaw because I took an intended functionality and I abused the logic that was built into it in order to use it from the perspective of an attacker. So I do not think AI is going to replace pen testers anytime soon. There are some amazing companies doing work in that space, but when you look at those companies, they may have AI agents doing some form of pen testing, but almost all of it has a human in the loop. A human is studying how the AI is working, a human is verifying the bugs, and a human is kind of being that mediator between the AI and the client. So I don't think AI is gonna replace pen testers, but I do think it's going to change what pen testing looks like and it already has. You see, AI won't replace you, but AI is very much a force multiplier. If you are a good pen tester, and you have strong technical skills, AI is gonna enable one pen tester to maybe do what it took an entire team of pen testers to do before. But if you don't know pen testing, and if you're not technical, AI isn't gonna magically make you like a Mr. Robot elite hacker. But those are my thoughts. I might watch this video in five years when I don't have a job and realize I was completely wrong. Who knows? But honestly, I would love to hear from you. Do you think AI is going to replace pen testing and red teaming in the future? And if so, why? And if you don't think it is, why don't you think it is? Like, what are the reasons that you would give? Now, believe it or not, I do read all of the comments or try to read all of the comments on my YouTube channel for good or for bad. And I would love to hear what you have to say. So join me in the comment section and we will continue this conversation on whether or not AI is going to replace pen testers in the future.